Welcome to Tech Brothers Damir. Today we are going to learn how to create blocked report with subtotals in a report builder. So let's go ahead and open a report builder. Here in the report manager we have the tab called report builder and I'm going to go ahead and open that. This is going to start our report builder. I have SQL Server 2016 CTP and it is saying okay it is opening report builder. Once uh, the report builder will open, uh, you will see this window called getting started. Uh, if you have checked this box, uh, then it is not going to show this window at all. So if you ha haven't uh, checked this box, uh, so we will see the uh, getting start window. You can click on new report and then start a wizard from here. This is a table or matrix uh, wizard. Uh, by using that one, we can create a st uh, stepped, uh, blocked uh, and a different type of reports or matrix report. Uh, uh, but in this case we will be creating block the report with subtotal so I'm going to cancel this out so we don't let's say we do not have the getting start window at all so I'm going to close this and this is how the report builder will open now from here you can go to the file and click new and this is how you will get to the this wizard again so click on the new report and the table or matrix wizard once you are here, you can select the existing data set if you have deployed to the report server. In my case, I do not have any data set that I have deployed to the report server. I'm going to create a new one. Click next. And here we have option to select existing data sources from report server. You can browse and select any folder where you have deployed your data sources. In my case, they are under data sources folder and I have only one sales. So I'm going to select that. If you would like to create a new one, you can click on new button and then provide the name, select the connection type. In our case, most of the time it is SQL Server. If you are connecting with Oracle or anything else, you can select that and provide the rest of the information or click on the build button and then create a connection string. In our case, we are using the data source which is already existing on the report server. So let's cancel this out and select our data source. Hit next. Now we are in the query design window and here we will see all the tables, views or store procedure from the database if it has. In my case I have only one table in this database. So I can see that it is called total sale and I can click here to select all of those fields. If I would like to remove some I can uncheck them. So let's say if we don't like these some of them we can remove them or add them. Here we have option to run the query and uh, there's good idea run your query see the records uh, but you don't want to run the query for millions of records. Uh, so in this case uh, I have few records uh, I would like to go ahead and run it otherwise I would like to go to add it as a text uh, copy my query go back to the SSMS uh, and run my query there. If I need to make some changes uh, I can always uh, make changes uh, in my query and uh, run in SSMS SQL Server Management Studio and uh, change anything what I like uh, and take the query back and put it back to the here added uh, in this editor also we have option to run the query right here this is going to be the same thing what we have seen you can click uh, here again and then uh, it will take you to the back of the original screen now you can move a little bit this one give some space to yourself uh, there are other things we can apply here but I'm not going to go there we will uh, discuss these things in next videos so let's go ahead and uh, click next and uh, now we have arranged fields we have three type of boxes here one is called row groups and another is called column groups and values as we know that we are going to create blocked stepped uh, or blocked uh, block stepped report in this case we will not be using column groups because columns groups are for matrix report we are going to create tabular report that will be blocked report here I would like to have my region so I'm going to select the region and then I would like to have country under that so we are creating groups so here we have first group is region the second group is country then I would like to have the values I would like to see my first name I would like to see the last name I would like to see the product name as well and then the last thing I would like to see is the item sold. If I select the item sold, you will see it is doing the sum right away. So in my case, yes, sum is fine. But if I, if you want to change to the max, min, count and all those different functions, you can use these functions here. Let's go ahead and hit next. Now choose the layout. Here you have option 
to select the way you want to see the report. Uh, in our case, uh, we want to uh, the very first option is show subtotals and grand totals. Uh, we can uh, click and unclick that one if we don't like it. If we would like to have uh, subtotals and grand totals, we are going to check this box. Uh, and then we have blocked the sub, uh, subtotal below. If you see here, the subtotals are coming below. If I would like to see above, now I can see that total coming right next to the uh, group. So that's the option I can use. I'm going to use uh, the below one, but you can switch between any one you like. Next, uh, we will uh, create one report we call stepped report, but here it is going to be the blocked report. Now, this expand collapse group, uh, so th you know that there is a plus sign that comes uh, if you click on that one, it expand. If you click back, it will collapse. Uh, so that's what it, this uh, button is about. If you don't want to use it, you can uncheck it. If you want to use it, uh, let's have it. Uh, now we are going to do it and uh, hit next. Here you will be choosing a style. So different colors uh, are available by default. So in this case, uh, we are going to go with the forest uh, and then hit uh, finish. Uh, now, as of now, we do not see any title added to this report. We can go ahead and add the title. I'm going to call this one sale report. Execution time is already added to the report. We can manage it. Let's run the report. A blocked report is created. So you can see that Asia, the total is 10, Europe total is 19, and North America total is 11 and the grand total for all of them is 40 so this is a pretty good report in quick uh, two or five minutes or whatever it take you to create it and uh, you can uh, drill down uh, this block report uh, and if you go ahead and uh, for and this is what i was talking about collapse or expand you can click and it will uh, expand and click back it will uh, collapse so this report looks good next a few of the things we would like to see let's say sale person first name last name we would like to change those uh, uh, header row uh, col uh, columns or values uh, we would like to just have F name and L name instead of a sale person first name and last name we can go back to design and I can click here and I don't want it so I'm going to delete this one and also a sale person last name instead of L name maybe last name is better so we will change this one to last name and this one maybe first name so you can make changes or whatever you like uh, here. Once a report is created, uh, you can take a look on the data sources. And we know that uh, when we have this pointer, it is uh, using the uh, data source uh, from the uh, report server. So this sales uh, data source is coming from the uh, report server. And then uh, we go to data sets. Uh, and as you can see, I did not uh, rename this data set. Uh, so it is called data set one. I would like to do it. I'm going to double click and call this one d set uh, underscore sales and uh, hit ok now you can run the uh, report again you can see the report we can see first name last name are coming correct and if you would like to make other changes you can do it uh, in design once you are in design you can have uh, different uh, fonts uh, paragraph center and all those kind of things can be done now here uh, the once this report is created uh, the last uh, step will be deploying this report to the report server uh, if you could close the uh, directly from here it will ask you do you want to save the changes to the untitled dot uh, rdl let's say yes sir. and this will uh, give us option uh, to deploy or publish that report uh, so i'm going to go to the recent uh, sites and servers and uh, one of the one of them is the uh, sql server reporting services uh, uh, I have installed and the folder is called reports so I navigate to that one and let's go back and give a name so we call it blocked subtotal report and we say save now let's go back to the reporting ser uh, ser uh, reporting server by using a report manager and here in the report manager we see that a report uh, let's uh, hit uh, uh, this report uh, this report should show us all those uh, values uh, got it okay now you can see that uh, this is just working fine we have a, a blocked uh, re report with subtotals and all so this is how you will uh, deploy your report uh, to the uh, report uh, reporting server uh, and uh, make changes if you need to make changes you can uh, reopen it uh, by using the report builder and uh, just open that report and make changes uh, whatever you like uh, so once uh, the report uh, builder will open 
you can go back and just open the recent or uh, let's say we go back here and say open and now from reports uh, we can open this one and make changes and redeploy or save it thanks very much for watching this video and i'm going to see you guys in the next video